Hi everybody, my name is Chad. I'm an animal keeper here at the Blank Park Zoo. Today you're going to follow me around as we take a look at a lot of the animals and uh, the daily routines that animal keepers do here, so enjoy. As a keeper here at the zoo, we make a variety of diets for many different species of animals, such as birds, reptiles, and amphibians, and the northern lynx as well as the ring-tailed lemurs. Many of the diets that we feed here as a zookeeper for the animals have a variety of fruits and vegetables, and there are varieties of different types of pellets or grains that we feed the animals as well. The diet process here takes a long time. Uh, we put a lot of effort into making sure we feed the appropriate amounts of diets as well as cut it to the right proportions. Uh, we're basically chefs for the animals, so we cut, chop, weigh things out. We have to weigh everything that we give our animals so we give them the appropriate amount of diet, which makes them as healthy as possible. After I complete diets in the morning, the first thing I do is feed the birds that are in the Discovery Center, and these are the birds that are flying around free flight. The silver-eared mesia is one of the prettiest birds that we have in the Discovery Center. We're one of the only institutions in the country that's actually actively breeding it. The Livingston's turco is a turco species from Africa, and they're beautiful birds, and hopefully you get to see it very often in the Discovery Center. The bamboo partridges you're typically going to find on the floor of the Discovery Center when you're walking through. Uh, they do have an amazingly loud call for how small of a bird they are, so keep your eyes peeled underneath the undergrowth. We like to offer our birds many different types of diets throughout the day. Uh, like hanging oranges in the trees or apples or even taking whole stems of grapes and hanging them in places or putting them in their diet pan to give them the opportunity to feed in different ways. As I make my way through the Discovery Center, putting the diets in the appropriate places, I next make my way to the top of the mountain. Up here is where we throw uh, different types of insects to the bee eaters and we throw insects on the floor for the mesia, uh, the sun bitterns, and the partridges will come up and eat as well. The sun bittern is one of the more unique animals we have in the Discovery Center. Uh, they have an amazing display, and he's doing one of the small displays here, as well as it has a, an unbelievably effective predator defense by showing its wings. While on top of the mountain, not only do we feed, we also clean off the fecal material that's on the rocks, as well as we have to water all the plants that are up top. Uh, this ensures that the green plants will give the birds ample opportunity to perch as well as make nesting material. The speckled mouse birds are one of the more unique animals here in the Discovery Center as well. They feed, eat, and live in very large family groups, and right here is a really good opportunity to watch these guys do their thing in, in nature. We clean the flamingo exhibit daily uh, to clean off the fecal material as well as to make sure that the pools that they drink out of, uh, as well as the feeder, are clean. That way we, when we put diets in there later in the day, they have a fresh substrate as well as a fresh feeder to go to. The Chilean flamingo is probably one of the toughest animals that I've ever worked with as a zookeeper. Not necessarily physical ability, but ability to handle temperatures. Uh, in the wild, they would be in extreme heat as well as going to extreme cold. We offer them just the minimal amount of supplies to make their nest as far as the right dirt, clay, and substrate. And we just keep it moist for them, and they do everything else on their own as far as breeding, making the nest, and raising their offspring. Uh, so far this year, we've had one baby flamingo, and we're hoping for more, but uh, having one successful chick a year would be absolutely fantastic because this doesn't happen very often in, in zoos. I then go back to the kitchen to make the diet for the lemur for the AM diets, and then I'll head off to lemur to go feed and take care of them for the morning. I shift the lemurs into their own individual stalls so we can feed them the appropriate diet every morning. Uh, it makes managing them a lot easier. After feeding the lemurs their morning diet, we'll, I'll next go into the exhibit and I'll make sure everything is clean, their water is full, as well as I'll enrich them on, on uh, exhibit by giving them different types of fruits or spices so they can find it throughout the day. Feeding the finches up from my hand is normally something you don't get to see here as a public member, but uh, we like to do things like this once in a while to give people a new opportunity to see an animal in a different light. After the animals are taken care of in the morning, I go up to turn on all the pumps for the waterfalls to make sure everything is running appropriately and basically get ready to let the public in so they can enjoy the zoo throughout the day. Cleaning the macaw exhibit is actually a timely process. We have to first pick all the debris up off the top of the water, then turn the pumps on and empty the pool, and after that we will hose it clean. So it does take a little bit of time. Even though we hand feed the macaws their vitamins in the morning, these are not animals that we let step up on our arms or with actually willingly step up on our hands. Uh, not only do we give them their vitamins by hand, but we have different ways of feeding by having little holes in the back of the exhibit where we put their diets in. We'll put fruits and vegetables in there with their pellets. A part of a zookeeper's job is much less glamorous than standing out in front and talking to the public and pointing out the different animals you work with. We have to clean the holdings, but this ensures that the animal always has a good, safe, healthy environment to come back into when they come off of exhibit. 
Today you caught up with me on a day where I'm disinfecting and cleaning the links holding. Thanks for following me around the zoo today. I hope you had a good time. If you want to learn more about the animals that you've seen here, visit us at blankparkzoo.com or if you get a chance to come out to the zoo, please be sure and look me up. I'd be happy to answer any questions.